The storm was devastating. We had not seen that kind of weather ever. I can remember five degrees and we had peaches a year. And I thought, oh, well, they're safe. They're in the bud, they're tied in the bud and they're safe. But it actually killed the buds. They were freeze dried and it killed some of the tips of the redwood as well, parts of the tree. And I think ours were just at that stage that they, it was like the perfect storm. They, they were very susceptible. The sap had started to rise a little bit. The buds had started to swell a little bit. We have had peaches bloom in February and make a crop. So they registered four, minus 14 at Nashville. I registered minus eight at my house. So I, I don't know about the orchard, but it was cold. Uh, two varieties survived when everything else is just wiped out. My crop insurance uh, officials came this week to inspect the orchard and, and um, he says 90% loss because I have uh, 200 trees that might have a partial crop on them. So my 10% is those 200 trees and that's out of 3,500 trees and it's all averages, it's all, it's all maybes in farming, it's all, it's gambling is what it is. <laughs> but, but I have 3,500 trees. I have 38 varieties. So the varieties that survived are two of my best July peaches. So everybody will be happy about that. I'm tired of these century things happening, you know. Oh, that's a once in a century flood. Or, that's a once in a century thing. <laughs> that's a once in a century Arctic tundra. I was not, I didn't see that coming. Uh, wow. <laughs> I can't worry. That'll make you old. So I, I try to have a joyful attitude, but I was in a blue funk last week because I really thought I had a crop, but I didn't. My husband was third generation. My kids will be the fourth generation. And I'm hoping fourth or fifth generation will kick in and, and want to continue doing this. Um, my father-in-law, Jim Corn Jameson, uh, served in World War II under General Patton, and he sent his GI wages, which was not much, back home and had his dad buy this land. So you talk about a tradition, it's something to be proud of. And planning ahead, boy, wasn't he thinking. But I'm gonna do it, I can't stand it. I've gotta grow them. <laughs> I've gotta grow them and harvest them.